Ashland police issuing a warning after two reported coyote attacks on dogs on the north side of town. It is breeding season right now, so they will be much more obvious. We get many more calls about sightings. We get a peak in uh, incidents of attacks on pets. This night vision video shows coyotes on the prowl in a residential neighborhood. You have what I'd call teenage pups that were born last spring who are roaming around trying to find food. Some of them are looking for mates. Roaming together, teen coyotes can be more aggressive. In Milton recently, a pack attacked this little Jack Russell, biting off her leg. The incident is still under investigation. And if they're looking for food, yes, they will work together to go after a small mammal, whether it's a cat or a small dog. Best advice, keep your cats indoors and your dogs on a leash. Coyotes are very clever. There are coyotes that after a while figure out, oh, around this time, this animal comes out. And if it's a small one, that might be a meal for me. And there is another simple deterrent. Keep your garbage in a secure container. Put it out the morning of trash pickup. Not last night when you have an all-you-can-eat buffet for coyotes. And while police have issued a notice, it's also important to remember that coyotes are naturally weary of humans. Those attacks are rare. Only eight reported in Massachusetts since the 1950s, most of those involving rabbit animals. In Ashland, Jorge Quiroga, WCVB, Nusana 5.